The Youngstown woman who killed a baby she was babysitting says she's sorry for what happened. A 10-week-old baby dying of blunt trauma to the head under her watch. But as First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti tells us, the parents of that child say the penalty handed out today was not harsh enough. With more than half a dozen deputies watching over her family and friends, Traniqua Floyd rocked back and forth as a prosecutor described her crime. The baby died of multiple blunt impact injuries to the head. Uh, there's extensive head trauma. Floyd's accused in the death of 10-week-old Jamar Jones three and a half years ago while she was babysitting the infant and three other children. In the time since, prosecutors say she has told a number of versions of the incident. Well, obviously, those stories are all inconsistent with each other. She lied regarding what happened. Even the baby's parents, who didn't want to be shown but are related to Floyd by marriage, can't understand it. My son will be four this year, and I still don't even know exactly what happened. I'm not sure we're ever going to have an answer to what happened in there. We know what the ultimate outcome is. Floyd's attorney says the woman who had her first child in the seventh grade and then dropped out of school a year later has a long history of mental illness. It's schizophrenia. It's depression. Uh, she has hallucinations. She hears auditory hallucinations. She hears dead people talking to her. When it was her turn, Floyd read from a handwritten statement. It never was my intent for the pain and loss that was caused. In the end, Judge Maureen Sweeney sentenced Floyd to eight years in prison. In Youngstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.